Gang, gang, gang. What's poppin', man? Welcome back to Men's Street Podcast. I am the host, Connor Slaughter, man. Everybody hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all already know how it's finna go now, gang. So I can get y'all introduction. Hit that like button, man. Man, you bitch niggas better end your butt elevate. I need six figure money. Won't have the bucks and hella cake. Fuck boy, I been on dummy. Shootin' hella ops, make them a day. If not him, they kill his mama. Make him feel his wrath in the hell away. Hydro shots, but it's all in his chest. Watch as they swim away. I don't stop shooting till you die in your last breath, and then I skid away. This a hollow tip. Gang. Ah, what's poppin', man? Welcome back. Mess free. You feel me? The mess freest podcast ever in the world, you know, um, where conversation meets clarity. Because a lot of this stuff out here, we need clarity on, you feel me? So first things first, believing in yourself. We don't need no clarity on that, man. Believe in anything you do out there. Simple as that, man. This year is about motivation and about upgrading people in, in a spiritual form, in a spiritual sense. That's what it's about, gang. Um, a lot of a, a lot of motivation is not out here. A lot of motivation not out here. A lot of us ain't getting it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, at the end of the day, I think it's about uplifting your people this year, man. It's about making sure everybody get to their goals. Everybody reach their motherfucking uh, uh, career points they want to meet in life. I think that's what it's about. You know, I want to make that what it's about. You know, the next man helping the next man. You know, stop looking back on the next man who done fell down talking about him and look back and help them up, pick them up. You feel me? And drag them along with you and bring them on to the next stage. I think that's what it's about. That's what we need to do out here, man. So many left behind people out there, gang, you know, that don't believe in themselves. And that's why I tell y'all, you can believe in yourself. Yes, it's okay to believe in yourself because you is a remarkable person, whether you are male or female. You're a remarkable person. Shout out to all the strong ladies out there, too, because, you know, strong ladies raise strong kings out here. They have strong kings and they raise strong kings. And, um, uh, uh, you know, just know you're superior in your lane. Uh, shout out to all the kings out there, too, gang, because you got to believe in yourself, my nigga, to lead a legacy. Let me say that again. You got to believe in yourself to lead a legacy. You can't lead no legacy if you don't believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't lead no legacy if you don't believe in your man. That's the main prime key. I think so. But at the end of the day, others might not. So who gives a shit? But I think this to you to help everybody, gang. I got so many people out there that probably need so much help, gang. You know, um, I got a cousin out there. I know he needs some help. I ain't seen cousin in a minute. Last time I checked, he was homeless. You feel me? And I think it's time to uh help those people, reach and help those people, no matter the shape, form, or fashion. Um I offered them the gig with the truck, with the food truck, you know. Uh, once the winter came, though, they had to shut down. They got cold as hell. You know when nobody finna be out there ordering no shit, gang. I ain't even gonna play with you. But at the end of the day, I did offer the help, and I always do, you know. Um, I love how others like to offer help. I love how others love to make that same leeway. You know what I'm saying? And do, you know, because when I see other people do that, you know, that show the, the realest in them. You know, when we see that type of shit, though, gang, that do, that make a person feel good. You know what I'm saying? It make a person feel good knowing that you can help somebody. Knowing that there's somebody out there that needs your help and they don't mind receiving your help. They ain't going to throw it in your face. They ain't going to judge you from what you helping them with. You know how sometimes you help a motherfucker, gang, and they be like, I wanted a little more than this. You know, one time, like, a nigga was outside asking for some change. And a motherfucker told him, you know, I was like, look, I got food stamps. I ain't going to give your ass no money. Yesterday, I gave you some money. I got food stamps, gang. I'll buy you something to eat. No, I'm good, bro. I'm straight. Never mind. Man, get your ass off this corner asking for something to eat then, gang. You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself. Once you believe in yourself, my nigga, you can take yourself a little farther. You ain't got to be out here begging for no motherfucking change and asking everybody, yo, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? Hell no. Believe in yourself, my nigga, and do something for yourself. Other than that, shut the fuck up, you know. But I think this year, you know, we need to stop turning our backs on people, gang. Stop looking down on people. Stop judging motherfuckers because they on the corner because you see them with the same pair of clothes on because they smell horribly bad. You know what I'm saying? Because they look horribly sad because they out there begging for money. No, just uplift them. If you can't, keep it moving. If you can't, don't even think negative about them. You know what I'm saying? If you can't, don't even think negative about them. They hit that motherfucking like button, that share button, subscribe to the fucking channel, and comment.
because all that's gonna do is you know bring about negativity in your own life gang i learned that too you feel me we we manifest our own negativity in our own lives when we talk about other people when we make fun of other people when we downplay other people we laugh at other people down for us we we manifest negativity into our own lives and that right there alone is one of the harshest things we can do to ourselves gang that's one of the harshest things we can do to ourselves man you know at the end of the day i think i want to make this year and y'all should make this year i want everybody to make this year all my mess free family make this year about helping somebody else uplifting somebody else filling somebody else's cup up putting a smile on somebody else's face and i guarantee you you'll receive the same energy somebody will put a smile on your face somebody will come along and help you when you most need it you know i found times that when i help people you know out of the kindness of my heart i found times that in the need to help myself people come help me and i be most needing and people come help and that's true um not just family but people all over the world gang it's just the energy just like money and making money is the energy you feel me y'all don't know that money is just not paper that's the energy also you gotta understand that you feel me and and that's why some of y'all can't make no money because you don't understand that you're too busy focused and rushing you know the uh, abilities of obtaining money you know but you don't even appreciate its abundance and that's difference that's the difference like if you don't appreciate its abundance gang i don't think the universe gonna operate with you on that level the same way some of y'all go to jail and shit y'all look in the vehicle y'all be scared as hell nervous as hell and 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 in a moment you know the whole ride you be thinking damn i hope the police don't pull behind us hope the cops don't get behind us nigga your thought process bring them about you know what i'm saying unconsciously it bring them about and you don't even know why you're like what the fuck? where they pop up from i know from experience and i'm sure a lot of y'all do you know and that's the way manifestation work you know anything you think negative in your head it brings it to your reality because your subconscious then grabbed it from your conscious mind and now it shapes it into a form of matter that it can pass through you feel me to reality gang and next thing you know you got an event taking place to where it was just in your mind this way as if it was a movie or some shit, you know for real so this year make it about putting good affirmations on people's minds so they can make themselves a movie you know what i'm saying so they can create their own movies you feel me tell them good things about themselves so they can create some of the greatest possibilities in life you know i love to see that and I know some of y'all would because some of y'all got people out there that need these good affirmations. Some of y'all got family member out there that really need to be spoken to, really need to be talking to, you know, really need to be heard from. Some They need to vent to somebody, you know, or they almost to the point they want to hurt themselves, kill themselves. Y'all know people like that. I know because I know people like that. And these are the times for that, for you to sit down and be optimistic. You know what I'm saying? For you to sit down and do something that you're uncomfortable with going deep inside this person's mind going deep inside their background what they went through you feel me the traumas the hurts uh the pain you know what i'm saying um and and help them through it and walk through their life put yourself in their shoes and actually see if you can relate you know see if you can relate i think this is the year for that man you know believe in yourself man just have faith you feel me and know you born to win see when you unsure of winning <clears throat> when you unsure that you was born to win when everything that you look at look like man this ain't gonna work for me man i'm a failure no just recognize in your mind you take control you tell yourself man shut the fuck up who i don't know who who in control you know what i'm saying your small mind in control your big mind ain't in control the small mind in control gang and that's what you let run that yo i'm in control and that's how you run it and you tell yourself that over and over until you recognize that you're in control of your life your reality your thoughts your your process of where it goes if it goes good or bad you in control of that all about how you think when you get to thinking something gonna go bad it's gonna go bad when you get to thinking something gonna go good today it's gonna go great trust me and you gotta believe in that though you gotta believe in it and let that go don't don't think about it and dwell on it like i don't know you know so when you wake up oh today gonna be a great day and then later on just because a, a couple tests come past a couple uh 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 shoulder uh hits come past you feel me and shoulder hits i mean a couple problems that come past and hit you oh, bitch ass nigga. Huh? 
Okay, bitch. You feel me? Yeah. Some men try to test you and tempt your, you know what I'm saying? Tempt your will. You can't let it get to you. You got to stay on your P's and Q's. You can't. Some of y'all are let that blow. You got to stay on your P's and Q's. You got to stay saying it's still going to be a good day. It's still going to be a good day. I got this. This is a test. This is a challenge. I must pass this challenge. You know? Like, how many of y'all know that, though? Not too many. I know. Not too many of you motherfuckers know that. You don't go to therapy class. You ain't got nobody teaching you shit. Ain't nobody in your family or none of your friends or buddies that you hang with and drink with and get drunk with every weekend and smoke weed with, double blunts with. You feel me? Having triple orgy sex with. They don't teach you this shit. They ain't telling you nothing spiritual. And the shit y'all is talking about spiritual, y'all talking about who gonna go to hell. You know what I'm saying? And who ain't holy and who ain't faithful. Like, come on, gang. Come on, gang. I'm black too. We know the ropes. We know the tricks and trades to this shit. You know, but at the end of the day, I feel like this. I feel like y'all gonna learn. You know, definitely those of y'all that already know, you gonna learn, gang. If you don't, you know, then so be it. But those of y'all that's trying to learn, believe in yourself, man. Believe in yourself, have faith. You feel me? And know that you're born to win, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. I love the hell out of y'all. I am out. Gang, gang, look, fuck all that. Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button right now. And also subscribe, because for the last couple of months, I've been telling you motherfuckers, hit that like button to keep me in the algorithm, to keep my videos flowing around to different people who haven't got a chance to watch them and everything else. You feel me? But I love y'all, man. Let's get to the video.